Speaking of more information, I learned some stuff about a particular play that could have changed my entire life. Oh, no. The Indianapolis Colts were playing the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh, 2014. 13. 14, I believe. 14. 2014, Indianapolis Colts, Pittsburgh Steelers, prime time. Mm -hmm. Lights are on, Heinz Field. One punt pass and kick at that field as a kid. Yep, yep. Okay, I was announced champion there as a 15-year-old punt pass and kick. Everybody sees the Andy Reid video and everything like that. I go out on field, hawk ball real far, okay? Real far. Hell yeah. Get a nice cheer from the injuries that stuck around during halftime, then go grab beer. So not necessarily <laughs> our people now, but certainly a group of people didn't sure. grab beer at halftime of the game, and they cheered loudly. I dunk on upright as I'm going off there. First Steelers game I could go to. Tickets tough to get to. Had a blast. Dad was there. Dad loved the Steelers. It was a good thing. I was returning as a professional football player against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Family, friends, whole city there. You know what I mean? Primetime game. Steelers are going to show up. We had a fake field goal. I was, scored, I was supposed to score a touchdown. I was supposed to walk right the fuck in. Yep. <laughs> right in. Hey, we're going to practice this thing. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What? And when we're practicing, there's no blocking out of this play. We're not saying, no, we're not doing this play anymore. This is 100%er. Pat's walking in, okay? So when he gets in there, first touchdown, let's all make sure we have a good time here. Okay, oh, yeah. let's let yeah. these people know that we're here to have a good time as well as a score time. And then Troy Polamalu fucking ruined it. Troy Polamalu did something he ain't never done in the history of his entire fucking career. Mm. He lined up on the short side of the field, which is poor technique. Should not be doing that. There's a lot less room over here. Why would you have an overload towards that side, especially with how much space and opportunity <laughs> is on this side? Troy Polamalu, high football IQ, should never and has never been to the short side. The only thing you can fuck this up, I guess, is if that head and shoulders model mm -hmm. snoops it out and goes right to the place you were supposed to walk in, where we had a double team, a pull, and a push, and literally waltz in the end zone in Pittsburgh. How you doing? Oh. How many points you got? Six of them things. Thank you. Troy Polamalu is finally given the reason why you ruined my life. God. I got Polamalu and Polamalu explained why and how I got Polamalu mm -hmm. on the All Things Covered podcast with BMAC and Patrick Peterson. This is what they call baby Jesus had to say <laughs> about the play that I'll remember for never happening. One famous internet type story, Troy, I want to share with you. We talk about being able to be put in positions to see things before they actually happen. Pat McAfee de detailed his first opportunity to score a touchdown, a career touchdown on a fake field goal, right? And he said everything was a go. He was excited. <laughs> first opportunity to score a, a, a fake field goal, touchdown. Troy lines up in the C gap, which he never does on a field goal. He ever, sees ever. Troy line up on the C gap. <laughs> Got to call a fake off. Pat's pissed because he don't get opportunity to score. He said he still hate you to this day because of that. But what did you see, Troy, for you to be able to sniff out a fake field goal to line up in a position where you never line up in and forcing them to attempt the field goal? Baby Jesus. Well, you know what? I, I saw him on. I saw him too excited on the sidelines. Oh, you saw him on the sideline before he came in. Oh, hey, that is a veteran move. Oh, well, I tell guys all the time, bro. Patrick. Keep your eyes on the screen. Patrick. I love that you just said that. He was joking, Patrick. Jeez. You know, the funny thing about it is we actually had a, a bad tendency if I was blocking to the field. I'd say. Uh huh. A hundred percent field goal block tendency was if we're on field goal block, they're on the hash. We're always going to run into the field. And they ended up being on a hash that was on a, you know, pretty much guaranteed uh, a make field goal. Yeah. And, uh, you know, our, our special teams coach at the time was like, hey, man, we just need to change up our tendency just once. And I just remember us having that conversation before we went out there. It was like, all right, maybe this is the time to change it. Wow. So uh -huh. that, that, that actually, uh, mm. you know. Mm. I wish I would have played some, some lottery numbers with that guest, but. Oh, yeah. no question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Legend Great time to change it up. <laughs> hey, the legend of Troy continues to grow. Yeah. Even being retired. Yeah, I'd say. I'd say. So, just, you know, hey, why don't we uh, break our tendency one time out of fucking a thousand of these? <laughs> yeah. A thousand of them. Just choose to do it. And that special teams coordinator, Danny Smith, okay? 
fellow Yinzer, mm-hmm. this little chew gum and son of a bitch, this guy, <laughs> he will have an entire pack of gum in his uh, mouth on a sideline, yeah. and he will chew through it. Oh, yeah. He's been coaching in the NFL for a long time. Yinzer done good, okay? He's been around the NFL. He's back with the Pittsburgh Steelers, Beckham. Guy you'd love to hang out with. Oh, yeah. yeah. Guy you'd love to have a beer with. Got sure. a chance to do it with him a couple different times at the Combine. It is electrifying. Weapon. Now, they put a microphone in front of his face once a year, and he gives an answer. <laughs> that is electric. Today, he actually said, nah, I'm supposed to say no. And I'll leave it at that. <laughs> but, but but also <laughs> kind of bullshit what's going on. I mean, he is through and through just a genuine classic soul. So now that I know it was his fault mm. because he just dropped into Troy Paul Mala's little head. Hey, remember, we got a little bit of a problem, you know, chewing his fucking gum. <laughs> we're always doing that. Somebody might see it. Not this team, obviously, but we're just saying we need to change it for the future. And Troy just... Oh, yeah, he did say that. Let me just fucking go over here. And it ruins my life. Not fair. (laughs) Fuck Danny Smith. (laughs) Hear me? Fuck him. We don't say a single good thing about that guy ever again. Never. Got it. Can't have it, okay? He's a legend. He's great at what he does. He's funny. He's charming. What? He's a guy you'd love to drink a beer with. Uh He is an asshole. Yep. Right alongside yep. Palamalu, who just, oh, might as well go over here to the short side of the field. So now we have an answer, okay? And I do like the fact that some people read the sideline and they try to get there and... I've been living with that last couple of years because yeah. he said that to another YouTuber. <laughs> he did. He said his aura coming on the field seemed to be a little bit too chipper. And I'm like, I ruined it. I'm the one. <laughs> I'm the one that did I actually did this. And I'm like thinking to myself, yeah, well, I would do that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, yeah. Pumped. I certainly yeah. pumped for it. That is something I certainly would do. You know, play cards. I tell people my hand. Mm-hmm. Hey, I got a really good one <laughs> right now. And they either choose to believe it or they don't. Troy Paul Mall is like, oh, this guy's so pumped coming out there. He, he said does. that a few years back, I've had to wear that. That's right. The reason why I can't talk shit in Pittsburgh about scoring a touchdown in Pittsburgh against the Pittsburgh Steelers, a team that some of my friends would fucking die for. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's because of my own fault. Now we get the final answer. I'm appreciative of the All Things Covered podcast. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm also appreciative of Troy Paul Amalo being an incredible football player. Yeah. yeah. Just so high level at all things football. It is kind of mind freaking as if it's Chris Angel taking people's legs off to do it. I'm not the only person he did it to. I just so happened to be a six-yard waltz touchdown. I couldn't even fathom what quarterbacks had to do to prepare for that guy because it's impossible because he just thinks of everything, remembers everything. Oh, let's just break a tendency here. Let's ruin this person's life. I was on the long list. I feel honored as opposed to hating him. Danny Smith, though, replace him (laughs) right into that thing. AJ, (laughs) that's what I'm thinking. Well, when I was listening to Troy speak there, I and you say Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you worked on it. Is it possible you guys had a snitch there on the squad mm. in Indy? Oh. Someone, someone sent a little text or a little phone call over to somebody in Pitt. Wow. Uh, Pitt. Certainly a possibility of that, isn't there? You didn't call yeah. one of your boys and tell them, did you? Yeah, the no, enemy is no, in one of your camp. I would never tell them. No. Ever. Because we would <laughs> tell. Bingo. Yes. Never. One, here's been. my question, because you said it was going to be a walk-in. Did you ever, for one half of a second, think, I could take Troy one on one. Never, around the not yeah. a single time. Spin move, <laughs> not a single time. I saw, saw, saw him go over there. I'm not the guy that should be trying to beat Troy Paul Mullen. <laughs> yeah, I am. Because it was a high score game. It was like 35, 17. I think at the point you're like, yeah, yeah, three, yeah three. you kick that field goal, you go down two scores. I mean, it, it, there was uh, there was a little bit of a quick thought in there, as if I am a fourth down quarterback. Took snaps on fourth down numerous times. Threw a ball as well. So there was that type of thought. But also, like, yeah, I grew up in Pittsburgh. So I've seen the Palomalu. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I get it. Okay. I know what he has done. Yeah, and there's a full freak out, obviously. <laughs> what did you say to the sideline just then? Like, <laughs> so no Chuck, motherfucker, he's Chuck, over here. Chuck came over and was like, we're doing this. And I'm like, eh, we are not. <laughs> you don't think I want to? So then if that, that video continues in the TV roll, we start jogging up that uh, tunnel, that fob, to get to our locker room. And Chuck comes running up next to me, and the camera actually catches us talking. And it's like I'm telling him. Yeah, dude, dude. So every film that you guys showed me and that we saw, like, Troy wasn't standing on the other side, right? So, like, uh, there it is. What happened? What fuck happened? What are you doing? <laughs> Tom McMahon, what the fuck? I thought you were scoring a touchdown. They all thought I was like a baby back bitch right mm-hmm. <laughs> They thought I was scared. Like, that's what they, they – which I guess I kind of was. But they are like, you were too big at the moment, too big for, like, what, what, what do you happen? I'm like – Go look at the fucking pictures. Yeah. yeah. Find up differently. Okay, go, look at, go, go look at the goddamn pictures. <laughs> a little different game out here, okay? Jeez Louise. And then I go into that locker room, I hold my head. Yeah. I hold my head. Bummed. <laughs> Heartbroken. I'm, I'm supposed to have a goddamn moment. Yeah. yeah. At home. What happened, Pat? <laughs> Troy! Pull on, Baloo! It's bull. We don't, we're not mad at Troy anymore. No. Danny Smith. 
Yeah. He's the guy. Fuck him. You got angles over there, man. You got an angle? Yeah, sure. I can get the pile on, dude. No, I'm supposed to go right up. Man, yep. He would have, dude, he would have just. Yeah, they would have kicked him out, right? He would have so quickly just. And then probably, laid something did he, right? he gets yeah. through, right? Rip the ball off of my hand, out of my hands, probably. <laughs> you know, and just kind of do it. Yeah, the protection, too. I mean, they're coming off the short side, which I guess you're used to, and you call out or whatever what the heavy is. But, like, this is... What if you... Could you check it to the strong side? I mean, geez, look at the field. Yeah, could you imagine? I guess we would have had to then change... Just got to hook that end, get that end hooked, and somehow get somebody up to the backer. I don't know who the wings are, though. The wings might be, like, a tight end who's never pulled. So, like, every, every once in a while, you only got a few guys on the field that have blocked people before. Yeah. Like, actually moving people. So, like, that's one thing if you're, like, looking at special teams if somebody's going to run a fake. Like, if normally the right tackle is on the left side... Oh, there's probably something popping off. And that tackle is probably one of the only people that actually can move and block or has pulled. We ran a fake the opposite direction against the front that we weren't supposed to run it uh, <laughs> at a time we weren't supposed to either. And the guy that was supposed to pull had never pulled before because we had to check it to the opposite way. And it was almost understood that the guy couldn't pull. What happens if it happens now? We need it. Mm -hmm. And he got tripped. All I mean, oh. he just, I actually, I ended up jumping it like, you know what I mean? So there's a full. Anyways, Troy, you're a good football player. Yeah, way to go, Troy. We get it. Let's get to a break. This show would be much cooler if it was hosted by a guy that had touched it <laughs> Might do good. You could still just say, like, yeah, I was thinking about giving him a shoulder to chew on, but in that situation, I just, you know. Who am I to show up? Yeah. Andrew Luck in the offense? Yeah, you kidding me? We're down 18 at that point. You, you need me to come out there? And... Yeah, you, you don't want to ruin. Am I playing running back the rest of the game? <laughs> I start doing Jerome Bettis, too. Yeah. <laughs> friends wouldn't be your friends anymore because Troy's their favorite player. He made him look dumb. Dude, Troy, he was such a legend in Pittsburgh for so long, oh. just being a psychopath out there. Yeah. Like, oh, who's the psycho? Oh, it's yeah. Paul Malou, dude. Mm -hmm. He was so good at football. Play without a seatbelt. I mean, him at you. Every play. Every play. Every play, he's praying, and then he's going 400 <laughs> miles an hour. Yeah. And then he's picking himself back up. Ugh. All right, here yep. we go, God. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah. Get another one. <laughs> And then he's just figuring it out. It's what a what a machine. What a thank you, Troy. Thank, thank you, Troy. Troy. Thank what you did for football, not what you did to me, asshole. No, sorry. I don't think that about you anymore. I think that about Danny Daniel. Smith.